finally have a day off to get these big fucking boxes out of our way. They've been in the way in the garage for a while. We actually have time to do this install and Fab9 sent over the new tune that's appropriate for this setup. I still got the smell of oil in my nose. It's like gear oil now. They do stink in here. We just did a lot of maintenance as we changed all the fluids on all of the cars and it smells like bad gear oil in here. It's pretty gross. Come here. Let's crack this thing open. Let's make sure we actually have what we think we should have in here. Get this one out of the way for now. Hey, there's the paint marker we forgot to take to race day. Chalk works just fine, just so you know that. The chalk works just fine. You would hit you. You would hit yourself. Let's see what we got here. So these are on a ridiculous sale. All right, I went to go buy some off of one of the uh, Facebook pages. Dude wanted like $400 shipped. And I went to just do a quick Google in to make sure that, you know, that that was a realistic price because I hadn't looked at this specific header before. And uh, Hooker had a sale going and these were on sale for $215. So we went ahead and ordered headers. So there's a new header. Not the worst weld I ever done saw. Got a little bracketry, a little O2 bung. Neat. That's important. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's important. important. It's still gonna throw a check engine light, but the tune cuts it out. <laughs> Instructions. Know your place, trash. Yes, some sticky boys. Stickers, I love stickers. What do we got here? Some bolts. A gasket and that's it that's what comes in the box when you order a set of hooker headers nice. cool. pop the hood 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 where are you where do you live do you live there hey you know your super i hold its own hood up oh uh, we haven't revealed the super yet probably will by the time this comes out though i'll probably do that before this yeah, so all that work to install this strut brace, we, we have to take the strut brace back off. It's a little more of a pain in the ass than the stock one because there's a lot more stuff attached to this one. So we got to get it out of there. So for this install, we're going to be playing along with an install video put out by Jet Fuel Only. He put out a really good install video, so we're going to play along with that and I'll leave a link in the description. If you're doing this, look at that. Let's get the strut brace out of here. All right, start on doing clips. We're gonna need a, I think these were a 16, and up here is a deep 14. The little impact was a bold choice. But what, it's, it's, it's still working now. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Okay, maybe not. Get the full size impact. <laughs> we gotta undo these guys here. Bean! What's the bean? What's the bean? What's the bean? What's the bean? Bean, 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 bean. Squishes out of the way. Does it? Yeah. it squishes enough? Yeah. Right here. I've never taken that off, it always just squishes out of the way. One minute, 37 seconds later. Are you removing that, Gavin? 
I removed it because I wanted to, because not because you, you wanted. Yeah, right, because you wanted to, though. Not for I any... removed it on my terms. Right, of course. Look, it was for a different reason, okay? Exactly. I needed it for a different reason back here, not the reason that you wanted to remove it. You agree that removing it was a good idea, though, right? Just checking, you know. I'm not trying to prove anything, I was just asking if Look, removing it was a good idea. These things happen. If being a little bit wrong sometimes was a crime, then I would probably be in jail. Not for being wrong, because of the tax fraud. Hey, don't drop those. We don't drop hardware around here. Pachinko. All right, strut brace is out of the way. So now we can get to... How are we gonna get these coilovers back up in there? That's not important. That's that's a problem for future us. Yeah, Perfect. like those guys. What's next? Uh, next, we have to undo that little bolt right there so that we've got some play in this line here bolt down in there. It's nice working on new shit where all of this just just comes undone when you ask it to. All of the hardware up top came off super easy, barely an inconvenience. So now we gotta get on the bottom side and disconnect the header from the mid pipe and get the O2 sensor out of there. The O2 sensor might be a bitch. That might be the hardest part. The O2 sensor might be a pain in the ass. But we'll see. We've got all the bolts undone, so it should just pop right out. Honestly. Ah, whew. Oh, you have to twist it. So this might be why they uh, undo the motor mount. It's just the transmission's in the way. That's all. You have to twist it a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Dude, Ooh. Ooh. tell me when you're gonna do that. I need to know that you understand that I have a couple of eye holes. Face was there. Hey, watch your face. Well, if you can turn it to clockwise your direction, like a clockwise. I can't one. turn it in any direction. Really? Yeah, no, let's undo that motor mount. I can't get on it from up here. Beans, stop eating plant leaves. Did you like that? Easy day. Just gotta get that O2 sensor out. And plugged into here. What you got there, Gavin? Ranch. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't f up your gasket. Be safe over there, gasket. Try this at home, kids. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's really on there. It looks like it's about a seven eighths. We'll see if we have a wrench that fits it. What the dog doing? It is a seven eighths. You want me to hold that? How do you want to do this? Stand on it. Yeah, let's round that fucker off. Someone should be wearing a cup. Maybe stand on it from this end? Is that gonna be sturdy? 
well, we'll force it to be sturdy. Is that sturdy? Now try. There we go. Okay, is that sturdy? Nailed it. First try. Told you we'll force it to be sturdy. Good job, team. Don't they got cleaners for this? We don't do that here. All right. Gavin, do you like your car? I love it. It's my favorite. How was that gasket? Well, it's just a multi-layer metal gasket. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing exciting. Hey, putting the new one in should be easy. Yep, that looks flat. You want to put this in first? It's on the bottom side, so it'll be easy to put in Let's once it's in there. No. It'll be easy to put in from the bottom. You're on the bottom. Okay. Throw it around there. You got that? Choke me, devil daddy. Choke me. Ah, that's as tight as it needs to be. Awesome. Neat. If we have an exhaust leak, that's the first place to check. Agreed. It won't go because the O2 sensor is in the way. Is it because of the O2 sensor? Yeah, I wouldn't think that'd make much of a difference. This thing's much, much smaller. Look at it. It can't fit around the motor mount with the O2 sensor in the way. Jesus. I figured this thing's so much smaller. Not bad. Back off with it. Just go do go down. Many, many minutes later. We'll start over. Hi. I'm gonna install this header now. Fresh start. A new beginning. All right, it's kind of in position, but it doesn't want to pop down onto its studs. Fight with that a little bit. All in all, I would say that went on real, real easy, right? First try. It didn't go on first try. First try. Don't listen to what the time lapse says. Just listen to what the edit says. All right, where are the, where are the nuts for that? What are we waiting on? You gotta get it down onto it. it. What do you mean? It doesn't wanna sit down on them. They're either the front one or the back one is uh -huh. off. We gotta drill them out some, huh? Might need a little warbled out. Right. I'm thinking of hitting it with the file a little bit. We're gonna leave it down here for that, right? Got a, got a little diamond file. Uh, that was like, that's a little one. That's right there, that's the one. You'll be there for fucking 300 hours. Just a little warbled. That's all she needs. What lengths will you go through to modify your car? You should see what I'd do for a Klondike bar. I'll fuck my own for a Klondike bar. You are not that flexible. <laughs> you couldn't if you wanted to. If you want to see me my own make sure you hit that subscribe button. We get to 300 subscribers, you do it. We get to 500 subscribers, I'll let Alex out of the house without his meds. Thanks for watching the Redhead Racing Channel where we do installs, reviews, and shenanigans. And if you think you like that kind of stuff too, maybe you might want to drop us a subscribe. Maybe hit that like button, leave us a comment, tell us what you think. Or s your own d Or s your own d All right, you think if we get that middle one started and just kind of Force it all on? Kind of just force it. With the impact? Force it gently with the impact? Force it gently with the impact. As it just scrapes all those threads right past it? Yeah. Should be fine because that's aluminum and that's steel, so essentially the threads should be safe, right? I don't think this is aluminum. What, this? Yeah. What is this? I don't know. I would hope it's not aluminum. 
some form of. Steel. Is aluminum a thing we make headers out of? Mm, I don't know what the f they make headers out of. I don't know. I'm not a metallurgist. A metallurgist? A metallurgist? I believe metallurgy. It's welding. I'm not a full metal alchemist. Full metal alchemist? I don't know. Yeah, that's not going on there at all. Marble it out just a little more. It made a big difference just from that. It's a good thing we didn't have a paint job we liked on this valve cover. Look, I'm not some kind of nerd that pops my hood at car shows and stuff, so uh, if you are one of those nerds that does that and you care about the paint job on your valve cover, uh, don't do the things we do. You have definitely been one of those nerds that pop your hood at, at a car meet. There's photo evidence of that one. We all have done things we're not proud of. There we go. That'll tighten down on there. Part of that doesn't make me feel so good. I'm warm and fussy about it. All right. Send her on. right in front of the camera. He's a good boy. Yeah, this might need to be expanded because I can't get it on. Diameter wise? Yeah. Fucking torch it. <laughs> I'm not the torch police. I'm not a cop. I'm not a snitch like Chase. Mold like a cop. Marshall is my man. He's a good dude. Marshall. Chase is a fucking snitch. I see Chase on the street, I'll touch his chin. That's a kickable dog right there. Is this doing what you wanted it to do? Warming it up some, yeah so that I can slip it onto that other one. Otherwise, it's not going on. Got the header on. He's working on torquing it to the mid pipe down there. Getting the O2 sensor back in place. Putting the strut brace and all of its attachments back together. And it's gonna be time to see what this thing sounds like. We're gonna do a test to see what the cobalt exhaust that's on here already sounds like first just so you have a reference of what that sounds like with a header, and then we're gonna put the HKS on. It's gonna be super JDM tight. Beans! What's no. he doing? He's chomping the leaves on my plants. You gotta chomp them leaves, bud. Get them. Chomp that leaf. We're all done? Is that all done? Uh, oh, this pipe. Check everything else. Move the tools. We're done. Until we start it and find a huge exhaust leak. All right, let's see if it's obnoxious. I sure hope we bother the neighbors now. Check for leaks. Yeah. Don't hear any leaks. <laughs> Take it around the block, see if it's obnoxious. You ready? Nice and easy. Only got two pieces of bonus hardware, so slight break from tradition. Uh, I prefer to have a little more than this, but I can work with that. Remove that thing. Supra? Yeah. Damn Supra. I like that sleepy eye guy. It's a Supra. It smells like burning TV blaster in here. It's a lot more.
more grumbly. It, it's definitely louder, but it's not obnoxious or anything. It's an appropriate amount of loud. There it is. That makes a lot more noise when you're in it. It didn't make it as much louder as I thought it might, and that I was worried it might. It's, uh, it's a really good tone. I dig it. I like it too. It sounds good. Now that the exhaust is hot, let's touch it. I've never really cared for that exhaust, and I've always been a bit of a HKS fanboy. But I've never had a HKS exhaust myself, so we're gonna go with that. Which exhaust options were you playing with before you uh, went with this one? Uh, it was between good this, one. the Goodwin Racing uh, Roadster Sport. There was a Miata at the autocross. See if I can find the sound clip of it. That sounds good. HKS? That's the HKS. It is. It looks good. I like a little burnt tip. It was really nice. But I really like the look of this one the best. I like the look of this one. And I like the sound of it as well. So we're going with this one. Let's get that thing off of there. Do you want to read the directions? <laughs> because if you do, I have bad news for you. That won't help me. Because I can't read. <laughs> oh, that's hot, 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 hot. This rear sway bar is pretty well coated in rust. The one you just changed? Yeah. Yeah. How about that? We just put that there. Man. All right. Getting the head poking through is the hardest part. You got it? Yep. You want to start it up? <laughs> you have to, as is tradition. Wow. You remember when we used to do that on purpose? <laughs> remember when we you went- You remember how the GTI is like that right now on purpose? <laughs> You remember when we went out and bought things deliberately to make our car sound just like that on purpose? Good we times. spent real money to make that happen. Simple real times. dollars. It was the best of times. Let's throw an HKS on here. All right, let's get this out of here. Out with the old, in with the new. Come on. All right, let's let that drip right into my eye. Ready? All done. Bing bong. Let's go see how this thing sounds. being chill in the neighborhood, it's, it's chill. It's 
not any manner of obnoxious. Here we are at 60 with the cruise control on and you're fine. It, it makes a little more noise than it did before, but it's not anything I would consider a drone. Like, no, it's good. I like it. No check engine noise? Not yet. I assume that it will. Might just take a few few miles for it to notice for the sniffer to get angry. It's nice. Uh, we need to throw the new tune on. That thing out. I'll hook this thing up to the thing. Engine is on. Flash. Flash. Flash in tune. Bing bong. All right, tune is finished. So we can disconnect. Ooh. Boop. Whoop. Woo. Yeah, so overall, very happy with the headers. Uh, install. Had its ups and downs, certainly, but it's not that bad. Can't really say anything about the tune yet because it's supposed to be driven gently for the first 20 miles. So uh, by the time we get to the dyno to see what it's doing, the tune will be broken in, and we'll be able to give we'll be able to give a solid review on the tune with some zero to 60 pulls and such i've got a lot of draggy pulls from before the headers in tune so we'll get a bunch to match it afterwards once the tune is broken in and uh we'll get a good difference we'll get a good comparison and see see what see what kind of gains we got you know <laughs> hellcats watch out <laughs> so we'll it's get a long-term review at some point and the follow-up dyno will be before long, I'm gonna go ahead and call and see what kind of availability they have for the dyno and we'll get that knocked out. So if you're not already subscribed and you made it this far, uh, feel free to fix that. I don't know. Would you say that you think it's making 89% more power? You know, the same percentage of people who are watching but not subscribed for some reason. Uh, very happy with the exhaust. That HKS exhaust fitment is great. It looks really good. I think it sounds pretty good. It's a little louder than I'm used to, but I have definitely had louder before. So I think it's pretty bearable and it is, it's as chill as you want it to be. You can still get through the neighborhood just fine without pissing anybody off. So. I think that it is a little bit more pronounced than it was before. Not a lot, but a little bit. Certainly. Just in the right way. Only when you really get on it can you really notice it. Yeah. I don't know what you want. Very respectable. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Redhead Racing Channel where we do installs, reviews, and shenanigans. And if you guys are into that kind of thing as well, maybe you might want to leave us a subscribe. Maybe if you're feeling frisky, leave us a like, comment, let us know how, how we're doing. Yeah, let us know how we're doing and uh, go ahead and leave your predictions. Let us know what kind of power you think we're going to make. If you look back at our baseline dyno, you'll see we made 151 at the wheels pretty consistently. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think we're going to pull with the new tune. And other than that, thanks for checking in. We'll see you next time. Stay classy. <laughs>